What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Morning Drip Podcast. I'm your host, Kyler Moore, joined today by my co-host, good friend, Blade. How you doing, bud? I'm doing fantastic. We are in the city, the Windy City, Sin City, the City of Angels, the City of Love. Okay. You all know it. I, d- I don't. Where are we? New York. Yes, we are, dude. It's up to you to suck my cock. Sweet, dude. Yeah. It was well, just a little intro. Frank for, Sinatra. For those of you that are new to the channel, new to the podcast, make sure you guys check us out on all the major podcast platforms, Apple, Spotify, YouTube, uh, as well. Check out our Instagram, TikTok, at The Morning Drip Cast on IG. The Morning Drip on TikTok. Post every day. Well, pretty much. Five days a week. But uh, make sure you guys check us out there. But as we always do, let's get to our video sponsor. Turn it over to you, bud. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Blade here with the Morning Drip Podcast. We have another awesome, exciting show for you, as always. As you know, before we get started, a word from our sponsor. Ladies, gentlemen, let me ask you something. Life's about the story. It's about a journey. And today's sponsor is really special to me, to us. Us especially, because, you know, it's, it's a, it's hard. It's really, it means a lot to us. So this, we're sponsored today by New York Times bestselling author, just came out with a new book. It's a story of endearment, tragedy. It's, it's actually A story, a book written by my co-host, Kyler Moore here, and it's about his time living on the streets as a prostitute, just sucking cocks, chugging them down, doing what he could to survive to make it in Tinseltown. It's a real memoir. It's called The Bust I Could. Uh, Look for it in Barnes & Noble, Amazon, all stores. You get it on your Kindle. It, It... It brought me to tears, folks. I'm not joking. Uh, Make sure you go support it the best I could. Now back to the show. Congratulations, by the way, on the book. Who was that? Penguin Publishing? I don't... I have no idea. Don't know. Don't know where that came from. Uh, But, yeah, glad to be, uh, you know... I'm hoping to get that Oprah Winfrey, uh, you know, sticker... Yeah, Oprah's book club. Yeah, you know? I wish you the bust. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, absolutely, man. Let me ask you something. Okay. You like beer? Yeah, sure. Why not? You like Brooklyn? Yeah, it's okay. You like Brooklyn beer? I never had it. What are we drinking today? Well, today <laughs> we're drinking Brooklyn Brewery Pulp Art Hazy IPA, six point five percent. Uh, yeah. Pulp art blends beer and art with billboard-sized notes of tropical fruit and a soft finish. Ooh. It's a hazy IPA for the people. All right, well. There's a lot of fresh-squeezed pulp art on the cover of Kyler's book, which is also his face. (sighs) Okay. Cheers, bud. Ooh, ice-cold ones. Yeah, let's let's jump into this. A little cheersy-poo. So it's a hazy IPA, huh? Yes, sir. Six and a half percent. Ooh, fruity. Mm. It's not tart, but it has like a cherry kind of flavor, like not citrus fruity. The but back like end a, definitely has that hop. Almost like hop a flavor. punch or something. Yeah. Cool hipster can. You're... Yeah. Mm. All right, so what's the rating? Give me the rating. One sip. You know the rules. <sighs> Shit. You know, because I'm not an IPA fan. So what's your um, rating? I'm going to give it like a seven. A seven? Maybe okay. even a seven five. Because I, I don't want to like be judgmental. I'm a Pilsner guy. Yeah, this is not your, your cup of tea. This is not what I go for. So I'm trying to th- like you know be fair. I'm an IPA guy. I used to be really big into IPAs when I was younger. When I was a young stud like yourself, you know? Yes. Uh, now Go to washdown.com. Now I'm not as big of a fan. I got to give this a six five, man. It's, it's like decent. I, I probably wouldn't buy it again. I think the bigger question here, dude, and, and the bigger, like, you know, thing about this whole situation was how much these fucking beers cost. Yes. Now, was it worth the price? $18, dude, for a six-pack oh, of beer? Oh, for a sixer? 
for a six pack of beer, bro? That's fucking ridiculous, In dog. That's fucking In ridiculous. Brooklyn. We bought these yesterday. Brought them over here to the city to try them out for the pod. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable, dude. Yeah. I just I cannot believe how expensive the city is, man. Yeah, that's insane too. Cause like we didn't, we got from just like a regular little convenience just store little, bodega, yeah, just a little bodega, man. Yeah, I love that. Anyway, so what kind of show we got today, bud? Well, I wanted to ask you something. Yeah, sure. Cause we're here in the Big Apple. I think that's the right term, right? It's the yes. Big Apple, city that never sleeps. The city that never sleeps. Yeah, we're that's here in right. Times Square, man. I mean, it's freaking beautiful. Out. Yeah. So let me ask you something. Um, New York. Yeah. In your own eyes. These squinty eyes? Yeah. Okay. I know it's hard to it's see. Hard to see sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So try taping them open. Looking at <laughs> look at it through my eyes. Okay. And uh what's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of New York City? Oh, that's a tough question. You know, to be honest with you, it's I know gotta it's be broad. It, it, yeah, it's gotta be Times Square. Is it if the broads? I, it, well, I was gonna say possibly if we're talking like I'm in Texas. I'm in Idaho, wherever. I'm anywhere in the world and someone's talking about New York, the first thing I'm going to think is one, Statue of Liberty, and two, Times Square. Like, the most touristy fucking things you could possibly think of. Right. But if we're talking about, like, since we've been here, definitely the freaking women, dude. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, I, we'll get into that, but... Whew. What I like about the women here, it, like, you'll always see that in, like, really big cities, but people just dress nicer. Like, the trench coats. Oh, for sure. The pea coats. I for mean, because sure. you'll... I mean, I guess we're in Times Square, but, you know, you'll see the Armani and shit, but, like, just the people are dressed professional. I yeah, like it. Sure. You know? So what about you, dude? I mean, what what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Obviously, you haven't... When, when's the last time you were here, and, like, what's the first thing that comes to mind when we were talking about coming to New York? Yeah. I mean, and obviously, we've flown here a bunch. Last time I've actually explored the city, I was 13. So um, was that three years ago? Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, at the time, I was actually my current girlfriend's age, which is crazy to think about. Okay. Uh, but I think of those shitty street Sabret hot dogs. Ooh. Not a Nathan's. No. The Nathan's, Sabrets. I think, is like Long Island, isn't it? I think so, but the Sabrets have the snap because yeah. they're the intestine casing, which is like I like. Gross. So like I remember like getting my first dog on the street. Oh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know. It was just something fun. It was something me and my grandpa would always do. We'd always get hot dogs together in our hometown. Okay. And then we came here because he's an East Coast guy, and he's like, yeah. you're going to get the New York dog. So I think of that, and I think of, like, piss because of, like, I just remember being here in the summer and, like, walking through the street vents. You know, there's definitely a smell that's very reminiscent of the city. It's nice right now because it's cold. Yeah. Think don't smell the garbage out man we're rocking some flannel yeah getting the pea coat out i'd love to see it dude i love it. it's chilly here because like when oh the weather texas it was fucking like 80 something degrees the weather's been fantastic yeah can't really complain there perfect and the foliage 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 foliage, foliage. yeah foliage. like the night it is really beautiful i see yeah. what all those like new yorkers and east coast people talk about like I coming mean, here in the fall it, it yes it's beautiful i'll say this in this in like brooklyn there's a lot more space, man. Like, what do more uh, parks? Obviously, yes. Trees on the street. It just feels more open. Now we're deep in the city here. Totally. And I, I just, I'm curious to know or kind of get your opinion on what you think the differences are between Brooklyn and like Manhattan. Like, what are the key things so far uh, since we've been here the last few days? So it's gonna sound weird just because. Because we're from the East Coast. You've been here a lot more than me, so you have a better idea of the you city. We're from the East Coast. I mean, we're from the West Coast. Okay. And you have a lot better idea of the city than me. Yeah. But so far, just being around Brooklyn, it really gives me kind of like a Portland Hawthorne Street vibe or like a East Six kind of vibe. Like it's a... It's kind of like hipster and like blue collar. I mean, at least in the area we've been in. Downtown Brooklyn? Yeah, like downtown. And then like, what was that area? The... Industry City. Industry City. Yeah, it gives me like a really kind of like Portland vibe. Warehouses, breweries. 
Yeah. You know, compared to the city, which right now, tats. there's just not that green, you know, or lush foliage, fall yeah. foliage here. You got to walk down to, you know, Central Park. To yeah. really see that. And like, I love, like, don't get me wrong, Manhattan's cool. Like, the cool, all these tall skyscrapers, Beautiful. you know. Beautiful. But I wish we were somewhere else because it doesn't feel like we're in New York City. Like, everyone here is just tourists, you know. Oh, yeah. No, we are definitely in the hot spot. Like, I like the local tourism. New Yorker vibe. You yeah. Know? I mean, we stayed the night in Tribeca. Yeah, that was fun. I feel like we, we got a little bit of some local flavor. Yeah. So, Like anyway. puss? No. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, I haven't gotten any. Yeah, I know. In a while. But. <laughs> yeah. So, with that. Uh... Let me ask you something. Okay. Do you think New York has the superior pizza? Ooh, I, I'm gonna. This is a very easy. Are you guess. a deep dish style? Nope. Are you a Chicago nope. style? Me neither. You're not a Detroit style. Nope. I don't like doughy pizza. No, I hate that lunchroom kind of like Look, fucking. New York thin is crust. known for their pizza. Okay, it's all the Italians here. All right, it's the fucking it's, gabagool. It's the, uh. You know, there's just there's something about the pizza here, man. It's the water. It's a whole thing. Yeah. And I got to say, it's at, it's where my love of pizza really originated from was Brooklyn. Uh, Grimaldi's was the spot. Now they chained out, which I'm not super stoked about. The pizza's not as good. Honestly, man, the, like, I think it's as good as everyone says. But, you know, a you lot of people... You have a favorite spot? Sorry. Well, I was going to say, I mean, Grimaldi's is fantastic. I really love Luigi's, man. They shot Big Daddy there. Oh, yeah, with uh, Dylan and Cole yes. Sprouse and Adam yeah. Sandler. Yeah, when they do the spit shit. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. I, I didn't know In that. In Brooklyn, dude. I want to try the pizza there, then. That sounds cool. I mean, Dave Portnoy, as we know, one bite. What'd he give it? He gave it like an 8-7. Very high remark. That's pretty fucking good for, pretty it, fucking for Portnoy. High, man. Yeah. For sure. That's pretty sick. Yeah. I mean, how far is that? Is that somewhere we could like get to pretty easy? Oh yeah, well, not from here. Uh, definitely, when we're back in Brooklyn tomorrow, we could probably pop over there. Train or car? We could walk it. Okay, I've had fun taking the subway. Yeah, how, how's that been? Didn't you come in via the subway? Yeah, because I flew in LaGuardia, I think. Okay. And I had to take the bus a little bit to the first station, and then uh, yeah, I took it down. We stayed in Manhattan the first night, right? Yeah, Tribeca. Yeah, Tribeca. So yeah, I took the subway down. It was. It's interesting because public transportation compared to the West Coast, it's like the only people who used like the trains on the West Coast are homeless people. So like they're new and they're all new. So they're like right. new trains. They're wide open. But it's just like people smoking crack and heroin on them. Whereas here, it's like the subway was just so old, run down, but like yeah. had this just super cool like nostalgia I've seen oh. in movies, like romanticism. And everyone there is just like every day. There's like school kids just riding the fucking subway, like eight years old, just by themselves. I was like, this is fucking sick. Dude, it's probably one of my favorite things about the city is the subway infrastructure. As old as it is and how like... Gross. Yeah, there's rats running around. There's a dude taking a piss as soon yes. as I walk down the stairs. I was Always. like, sick. It smells terrible sometimes, especially in the summers, like you were saying. Yeah. Uh, you know, but there's something about it that's so beautiful that connects everyone in this area, in the city, well, together. You got to take it. I mean... If you lived here, would you ha would you sell your car? Oh fuck yeah, dude! I would. That would be the biggest just, mistake of my life is to own a car here in New York City. Dude, like we're in our fucking Uber. This shit was fucking. Well, I don't get how people can fucking drive in this, dude. I would be in anxiety nonstop. It's not only that, man. It's how fucking expensive it is here. Yeah, how much the is Uber, gas here? The Uber was seventy dollars to get from Brooklyn to Times Square today. By the way, where I haven't seen a single fucking gas station. Where do yeah, people? I don't know fill where up? they get gas, dude. <laughs> like, I have no idea. Even when we were in Brooklyn, I, I didn't mean, see definitely any gas nothing stations. in the city. Yeah, I, I've never seen a gas station actually in the city. Yeah, I know Ever. there's got to be some. There's got to be some, but they got to be. I wonder if they look like those Tesla charge stations or something like Maybe. they're just small or they're like down underneath underground. Yeah, or something, that would maybe. make sense. But dude, I I could not drive here. Like no, I've driven. I drove in Boston in a box truck, and that was Oof. like the worst driving experience of my life. Sounds terrible. But like, I feel like just driving down here in Manhattan in my Corolla would be. I'd definitely get a fender bender or two. Oh, hands down, man. It's it's definitely one of the most difficult cities I think to drive in, and your patience, man. I mean, it took us almost an hour to get over here from Brooklyn, and that's only like a few miles. So it's kind of crazy. Right. Yeah, that's crazy. That it that is pretty fucking wild. How's the food been so far since you've been here? 
We, I mean, you've been hitting some bodegas. We've hit, uh, yeah, we've hit a couple bodegas. I like that spot we went to today. It was like Caribbean. Ooh, well, I wouldn't say that was a bodega. That was an actual like Cuban. Dominican. I guess it went back a little bit. It yeah, wasn't like there was yeah. some depth. When you choose a spot, what what's like your gut feeling when you choose like a little bodega or a little yeah, side you place? Know, Here's the thing, man. I I used to be the guy that would always look up the reviews. Always yeah. look at the ratings. Can't trust them. You can't fucking trust People them. People who leave reviews are fucking retards. Well, they got time on their hands. Right. And they're like little keyboard warriors, just like the little fuckers that come on our podcast and right. try to come at us for bullshit reasons. Like right. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, I, I, honestly, but thanks for listening. I love the hole-in-the-wall spots, man. Right. You know how, like, you can always... It's like a sure-proof plan. Like, when there's, like the nine-year-old kid behind the register, yeah. you know it's most likely going to slap. Oh, for sure. You know, because it's like it's family-owned. It's like, I, that's how I always choose, like, a spot, you know? I mean, we walked into that spot today. It was great. You know, yeah. it wasn't too expensive. I like supporting the smaller businesses. Absolutely. And, and the, the people that are not paying for ads and marketing on you, you know, right. on Google or Yelp. All bougie looking. Yeah. I mean, we had a great Just Italian like some Middle meal, Eastern though. guy. He sells vapes and then he does a mean fucking pastrami. I mean, that Italian we had the other night in Tribeca was actually pretty good. That was good. actually, well, that was like an actual good Italian sit down well, restaurant. Like, But you know what? The ratings on that place were absolutely terrible. Dude, that night I got fucked up dude that tell me bad. more about that our waitress bad. because that zoe night, the fact that you know her name it just blows my mind yeah i'm gonna okay. go back there are you gonna find love on my day off when you're doing your thing i might go uh i got a few matches how you do know? you how do you feel about spitting riz to to waitresses like anywhere obviously in new york we're here i feel like i was i'm pretty okay with it because like from when i was 16 i was a host in a restaurant and then when i was 17 to 21 i was doing waiting tables and okay. i was working in like cooking in other restaurants too but yeah uh but i know how it goes i mean there's just kind of the vibe you could tell if they're having a bad day and shit like was she? no she was happy yeah. yeah and i feel like i got the vibe you know our friend who was with us she kind of she was like yeah i think you got a shot she you did know, say there's that. a total vibe i will say that to the yeah. people. yeah um you know, because she's like, what are you guys going to get? I was like, oh, I'll get the linguine and clams. She's like, oh, that's my favorite. And I was like, don't tell my waistline. <laughs> Melted. I could feel the fucking melting. Why are you talking like you're from Boston? I'm not fucking talking like I'm from fucking Boston. I'm talking you're like talking I'm from fucking like you're Jersey. from Boston. And you know what? That's the funny thing is that she's from Boston. Oh, yeah. That chick was from Boston. Fuck. You know her about her more than me. Her name is Zoe, by the way. Yeah. All yeah. right. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. But, um... I don't know, we, like, when we were leaving, you know, like, you know that Justin Waller thing? It's like, just go up to the girl and be like, hey, I don't want anything from you, but I just want yeah. to say you look really nice today. Yeah. I didn't do that, but I, I, went up to, <laughs> I went up to her and I was like, hey, what time are you off? And she's like, oh, 10.30 if my yeah. boss allows it. Why? And I was like, well, we're going to head to this bar over here, so, yeah. I don't know, maybe I'll see you. We didn't end up seeing it. And she was like, no, well, we didn't stay at the bar either. That would have been so funny if she went to the fucking bar and was waiting. We were there for a while, man. <laughs> we had three drinks there. Those uh, chocolate, chocolate old, old fashions. fashions. Dude, that was actually really interesting. That was good. I mean, I was I've, fucked I've, up. have you ever had one? No, I mean, I've had, I love old fashions. It's one of my go to well, yeah, drinks. Yeah, we had, you had one before we had dinner. Yeah, before dinner. Then we had a bottle of red wine. Mm -hmm. I'm already fucking tipsy by then. Italian food luckily saves you kind of because it's, it's, it's hearty. Sure. You know? And then we fucking go. We have those old fashions. We had a martini at dinner also and the red wine. So by the time we had those old fashions, I was re already trying to fight the spins and keep my composure. Oh, so you I mean, were pretty blasted. Dude, that night I was fucked up. You like, were pretty blasted. I'll get into it when I fell into the garbage. Yes, but, later in the evening. Yeah. But, I mean, how are you feeling, though? That was... I mean, dinner, like I said, dinner dinner in the city, man, it's fantastic. There's some very great restaurants yeah. here in New York. I, I, I do feel like L.A. still has a better assortment of food compared to New York. Really? Yeah, that's that's a hot take. I'm going to disagree with you on that. Well, it's a hot take, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to it. Cause I think I, there's some great Italian restaurants. I think they do excel in pizza think, and like some, some you know, yeah. delis, but like they're Look, not ethnically like diverse. Yeah. L.A., I mean, they both are. They have areas. But, yeah, you know, like, L.A., you got a little Armenia, all that bullshit. Yeah. But it's also just spread out. I feel like New York has – it's just probably a lot more hidden. 
Like, there's yeah. got to be so many more holes in the walls oh, here. There's plenty of you know? holes. Yeah. So, like, I know there's definitely areas where, like, if you're Armenian, there's probably a little area in New York oh, where I'm they sure, go. Dude, I'm sure, but, you, you know? know, I just feel like L.A. has a lot more diversity in their food. And you you know exactly where to find it. Yeah. And it's a lot more spread out. So it's easy to see it. I think you're right. right. There's probably hole-in-the-wall spots and little areas and pockets of yeah, Manhattan, like Spanish Brooklyn, Harlem, Queens, fucking... Harlem, like, yeah. that have some diversity in food. But the thing is, is, like, when you're in the city, you're walking everywhere. You're walking here. Call me Christopher because I'm fucking walking. There you go. See when So I... when you're walking, dude, you're not going to walk from Times Square all the way up to Harlem. No, you take the, the fucking sub. train. Okay. Well, I I don't have a train pass, so. I do. It just is what it is. I got the fucking uh, Metro Pass thing. Okay, so, uh, you know, a common theme here that we have on the pod is always talking about your Riz, dude. You know, we had a night, Saturday night. We did have a night. Um, you know, do you want to speak about some of your Riz? Like, how did that go? Like, what are your thoughts on, on New York women? <sighs> so, let's, talk, let's start there. Let's talk about New York women, like, what your thoughts are. All right. Well, for starters, I haven't really ta- been able to talk to an actual New York woman yet, and that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping to find my Elaine, my East Coast Marissa Tomei, you know? So, um, I mean, it was hard because we went to this little, like, kind of concert. We'll get into that. But, uh, I mean, I'm on Hinge and Tinder. I got a few matches so far, but every girl I've been matching with, it's like they're not fucking from, they're not fucking from here. They're not from here. You know? So, like, I, f- I want to meet, like, that sassy Italian girl. I'm like, hey, beautiful. She's like, piss off, you fucking blah, blah. I don't think they're that rude here. To me, they are. Well, that, I think that's a you problem. <laughs> Slap them on the Like, oh, I'm studying studying abroad. I'm studying lots of broads, you know? huh? But, uh, I don't know. I, I will say this. I love the women here because I am noticing a lot more women that look Italian, that look Jewish, and that's my type. Is like, I love the brunette hair, nice biscuit, a schnoz. That's my fucking thing because that's like where I'm fucking from. That's my heritage. You're not from New York. Oh, my family's from Jersey. Okay, your family is, but that doesn't make you from Jersey. Why are you talking like that? It's kind of racist. I don't get that. You're talking fuck. like an East Coast. What if I just I'll- started talking like you? We couldn't even air the episode then. We get canceled. Okay, so you're in love with New York women. Is that the synopsis? What you're trying to say? Oh uh, yes, <laughs> very good. <laughs> I'm very good. Thank you. New York women, yes, so good. I I know. I'm all over it here. Uh, I mean, what do you think of New York women? Do you, you ever there, have a fling in New York? Uh, have I had one? Yeah. You ever have sex in New York? That's on my bucket list. Sex in New York. Sex in the city, but that's Seattle, I think. Yeah, no, that's here. It's New York. Sex, Sex in, in the, the city? city is based out of New York. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. I'm I s- don't. I'm straight. Have I gotten laid here in the city? I don't think so. Which is crazy for wow. me to actually say and, and and say it out loud. I, okay, here's my ain't back, no love. Back to your <laughs> original question city. here, dude. I gotta say, I got in Tribeca. Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, had a beer with you at that that little Irish pub. Yeah, that spot was sick. Spot. I like that spot. Loved it. Yeah. Sitting outside, having a beer, man. And, bro, the amount of fucking women that are walking the, down the street, they look to the nines. Yeah. Okay? I love the classiness. And they're just all fucking gorgeous. Oh, Smoke shows. And like I said, Smoke the, shows. like you said too, the classiness. I love, I'm a huge sucker for women in like a trench coat or pea coat. It just, just like, makes you want to like be around it. It's like it, every uh, bitch like, here looks like Hugh Grant. Well, I don't call them bitches. That's on you. But that's what they, they just, fucking call they, they them. They all here. look so beautiful, dude. Yeah, absolutely. And they're all just like hanging out with their girls. Like they're not all cuffed up, you know, yeah. wifed up with, with their dudes. I'm going to say this though. You need to get this. If you're going to, especially in this area, because okay. I pointed out this building. You didn't know what it was. Okay. You're like, oh, that's a huge building. What is that? I was like, dude, that's the fucking World Trade Center. Okay. You need to know that, man. Bro, the fact that you're going to call me out for this, because I called you out for it the other day when we got in. I go, you're like, oh, dude, what building is that? And I was like, you call me a are liar? you fucking kidding me? You call me a liar? Yes, I am. Blatantly out here on the pod, I will gl- gladly tell the people, dude. Don't ever forget it. 
I thought there was two, and that's why I was confused. I was Jesus like, Christ, man. It's well, because I knew they rebuilt it, but I didn't. Yes, I thought they only, did it like the same one. thing. No, why would they create the same thing? It's a memorial. I, every time dude, I still see a, a movie in New York, you see like the things. It's yeah, like, no, 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 no. I like, for me, it's just because it's like not iconic for me. Because when I think of New York, it's like, in my eyes, it's like, you know, I'm like a Tom Waits guy. I think of like Broadway, okay. you know, like. I, I didn't go to the Empire State Building when I last time I was here. Okay. I, I went to Central Park. It's fair. And that fucking what's that French restaurant that's in Central Park? Like you know no what I'm idea. talking about? It's like famous. It's like Wolfgang Puck or some shit or maybe. Yeah. Like on the lawn green lawn or something. So okay. like that's not the New York I know. And then when I was coming here, like the parts I wanted to look up was like fucking Brooklyn. Because like that's kinda in our industry. That's where, like, the industry kind of is, like, yeah. all the production and offices. So I was more interested in, like, all the people I know that live here live in fucking Brooklyn. So I was, like, looking up those areas. Sure. You know, so it's like, I know, like, the Museum of Natural History, Central Park, Statue okay. of Liberty, you know, which we're, technically we're, is Jersey. But, uh, yeah, you know, so I wasn't like, oh. Okay. Yeah. But now that I know, that is good because I don't want to get called out for not knowing the world trade. I feel like I'll get kicked, my ass kicked here for that. Yeah, you probably should definitely check yourself before you wreck yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. I do I do wonder, though, because I've always wanted to see it. Because I saw mm. some at the airport, and I hate to, like, general, like, I saw some of them. Like, but, like, those Hasidic Jews with the curly locks. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the Orthodox or yeah. Hasidic. I think there's a difference between Orthodox and Hasidic still. I think, I'm like, not sure. Hasidic's still a version of Orthodox, but uh, where like what part of New York is that? There, I so I've seen a lot of them in the Brooklyn area, uh, kind of, kind of you know. But Brooklyn's south. huge, right? It, like, Brooklyn is a like, very Brooklyn's large bigger area. than I th Austin. I think a lot of people. Well, I'd in, say in so, dude. What, when people? we were look, when we were like over in fucking fucking Industry City and looking out that big weird Gothic tower, that's still it's, Brooklyn. Yeah, but I think you're That's looking at huge. it. You're looking at it in a relative way. The, definitely bigger population yes, wise. There's definitely a lot more people. Yeah, but I wouldn't say that it's like landmass. It's bigger. No, probably no, it's not. Very but, condensed. But it's still a long yeah, way. Yeah, no, there. I've seen a lot of them in Brooklyn, man. Uh, I've eaten in a lot of those restaurants. It was. It, it was actually really Ugh. funny. Last time, me and uh, me and Josh, aka yeah. Captain, we've talked about him here on the show before. A uh, good friend of ours works in the industry. We were in Brooklyn doing a show, and we went to this Chinese restaurant owned by some. Uh, 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 is it Hasidic? Hasidic. Hasidic yeah. or Orthodox Jews. Yeah. Uh, but it was like a Chinese restaurant. Yeah. It was the most interesting Chinese I've ever eaten. I will say this: it was not very good. Well, that's still because it is like a real thing, like with yeah. the because that's where like you would go on Christmas. If sure. Because like you know, it's right. like a stereotype, but it is a yes. thing. Like my Jewish buddy was like. That's that's why I was wondering because I have a friend back home who is Hasidic Jewish. Okay, and I had dinner at his house one time. It was fucking the worst meal I ever had. Cholent, you ever heard I of that? No. So it's like a traditional Jewish stew, but it's like hard boiled eggs and prunes in it, okay. and it's like it was. I mean, ugh. look, teach their own, man. Yeah, no, I'm sure there's probably some good food. Like I like matzah. Yeah, but uh, I mean, I guess bad transition. But speaking of Jewish. We saw a pretty fucking good sax player. Dude. Okay. Yarden? Yargen? Yeah. Jargon. Like, speak a jargon. Like, what's your jar? right? No, her name is Yarden. Yarden. And she's one of my favorite artists He's of all He's in time. love. Am I in love? Possibly. Bro, you slid into those DMs. I did. I did. So here's the story. We'll, we'll just have a little story time, <laughs> I guess. Since you're going to try to call me out. Uh, so we're coming into New York Friday. I see a story by Yarden. I follow her on Instagram and I was just like, Oh, she's playing Sam. in New York. She's playing in New York on Saturday, the next day. And I mean, I was like sick. So what's the, what's the situation with this show? Like, right. Is there a cover? Is there a ticket price? Like, what's the deal? So I reach out to the club. I reach out to her on Saturday as I'm flying in here and she gets back to me at the, like later in the afternoon and it's like, yeah, I put I put you and Blade on the on the uh, the guest list, and it should be free. Let me know if there's any problems. I was like, damn, that's sick. That man. was pretty sick. I, I mean, was it's really by awesome that. to see someone like the uh, artist actually reaches out yes. to you. And she, how many? I mean, she's actually kind of famous. Like internationally, I'd say she's yes. famous. Maybe here people would know her from like a mix because she does kind of like house music. Yeah, she's an international house sax DJ. sax player. 
I think Tel Aviv probably she's probably from because I feel like that's I a party so. area of Israel. So well, I don't know if that's probably her up camp. Well, well, that's probably where she got popular. Okay, because like you know, like I my, mean, she's traveled the world. She's done Tomorrowland. She was on Forbes thirty under thirty. Oh damn, she rich. Cover. I don't. Why would? How would I know what well, she's she on? Makes? Fucking Forbes isn't that for like billionaires no, or some Forbes shit? Forbes is like it can be like successful people that are like doing thirty under thirty. So is rich like people that are under thirty that are very successful with their careers, not necessarily money. We should be on Forbes. Yeah, we are definitely not there. But no, I mean honestly, man, she's one of my my biggest like huge fan of the sax house genre. <laughs> Oof! Don't even get me started. And so, yeah, I mean, she's, uh, I'll say this as well about Yarden. She's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Just, and, and, and just such a classy, professional woman that I, I, I can't really say anything much more because, yeah, am I a little Twitter pated? Yeah. Twitter pated? I'm Twitter pated by her. Is that dude. a word? Yes, it is. I've never heard I'm that. I'm like a little bit, you know, bashful, Twitter, dude. Twitter pated. Twitter pated. It's a very, it's a very real word. I don't think that's a fucking word. It is. Twitter anyway, pated. She's she's incredible, like man. The show was on Twitter. The, the the show was absolutely incredible. I mean, what were your thoughts on the show? I was actually blown away. I'll say this because I love live music. Like all music I listen to. You've never heard of her before. No. So all music I listen to, it's like, like I love rap, but it's like in general, like most rap concerts are pretty shitty. Right. Um, unless you're like Danny Brown, but like uh. I love anything where it's like, if you play an instrument, I support it because I like to play music. And she fucking blew me away. It was a sick venue. I mean, that had a lot to do with it. This place was like, just view of the city. Mm. Fucking badass. Yeah. I mean, I was fucked up too. Don't get me wrong. But there's also a lot of fucking hot babes there. And it was nice. And like, I will say this, with like house music and in a close venue, it's like not just intimate, like with the performer. But it's like intimate with the people too, because yes. it seemed kind of like it was almost like because people were on a list. It almost seemed like a lot of people knew each other. You know what I mean? It, it did feel more of a of like a private event, like a private event. That's what yeah. I meant to say. I couldn't find the words. It was weird though because like we got like stamped, like the invisible yeah. stamps on your wrist to go in. So we go to the door. Like there's three security checkpoints to the venue because you have to go up and then down and up right. and down. Yep. And so like the one guy, he's like. You have the stamp. I'm like, yeah. And he doesn't shine a dark light. He just shines a regular flashlight. He's like, okay, you're good to go. I'm like, okay. We get to the next checkpoint. The other guy's like, you have a stamp? I'm like, yeah. He just lets me in. And then the third checkpoint, the guy shined a light. Didn't he, And it was a dark light, but he didn't even shine at my wrist. He was just like, oh, you're good to go. I was like, oh, fuck. We could we could have just walked in. Uh, you, that but, So here's the interesting thing I'll say about this club. It's called Mr. Purple New York City, if you guys want to check it out. It's in the East Mr. Village. Mr. Purple is also the name of my erect penis. <sighs> okay, I'm cutting that shit out. So here's the other funny thing about, you know, this venue that we were at, man. Mr. Purple New York City, if you guys want to check it out. It's in the East Village. Uh, it's actually located inside the Hotel Indigo, so it's it's basically a hotel bar. Indigo's a shade of purple, right? Yes, but they have a rooftop bar, which is actually one of the clips that's on Yarden's Instagram. Yeah, that looks that's sick. That's very, inf like, for me, it's infamous. Uh, and then they have a club. because you down. jerk off to it every fucking night. You want your lips on your little reed. This is... The so reed okay. is what saxophone players blow into. Yes, I understand what a reed is. I'll just is. make sure you Thank know. Thank you. So then they have a club, a nightclub. And then they just opened the club that we were at, which is why we had to go downstairs. Oh, oh so that was like floor. a new, different, like yes. extension thing it was of it. An extension, new club, okay. and it apparently, dude, it was only the second night that it was open. Really? Was when Yarden performed. So, I wonder uh, if that has anything to do with it. Like they need like a good opening, so I they. Think have... It was just a great experience, man. Overall, that's that's all I'm gonna say. I mean, I think you're yeah. trying to be funny, and you're not. I'm not trying to be funny. I think yeah. she was gorgeous. I mean, oh well, yeah, you're simping. I almost cocked you out of her. I mean, you, you got did. the shot though. I did get the shot. You know, luckily, like I said, she's just a very down to earth person. I could feel that well, energy. You know, after the show, she literally came out in right. front of the DJ booth. Someone else was performing. Hung so out. Just hung out. Was talking to some people, and then yeah. I just, you know, I was a little nervous. Yeah. Okay. Look, we work with celebrities all the time, bro. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Is like. Like I've I fanboyed at like the country music awards with Slash and then like but you were like giving me shit and like you know you're always like don't okay, look at well, the celebrities. This is the first time I ever saw you fanboy. Okay, well it's a little bit different when it's work 
compared to my personal time. That, yeah, that is true. But if we were working a yard and show, would you I still would be not. fanboy? No. I'm very professional on set. Bro, you love her. No, I do. I love her music. I love her vibe. She's gorgeous. I mean, do I actually know her? No, I don't actually know her. If so we were working a yard and show, you wouldn't be all fanboy? No. You sure about that? I would not be, dude. I'm you there sure about that? I'm there as a professional. I'm going to do my job to support her show. So it would feel really good, actually, to be, like, meaningful, you know, to be a part of that. And I bet you'd tell her that, too. I, no, I probably would not. You but wouldn't be like, maybe, oh, yeah, okay. Look, if she, here's the thing. With artists and celebrities and people like that, comedians, obviously yeah. we're doing a comedy show out here. Uh, right. If they come back and engage with me, then that's that's my okay, in my opinion, to be able to like engage with them, like maybe fanboy a bit over somebody. But I'm not going to go up and approach them when they're in their element. They're here to work. No, absolutely, absolutely. And it, I think it, it just breaks this line that you you should never cross. Right. So have you ever you, seen anyone cross that line? Oh yeah. Like oh, where it's yeah. like with Dave Chappelle, I saw this PA do it. Well, PAs, I've seen that too with the CMTs. So I was like, dumb. I remember, like, I think she was like the production manager or something, but she was like talking to the PA. She's like, do not talk to the celebrities and do not tell them your personal yes. life because no one fucking cares. And I was I like, mean, damn. Truth. And I was like, yeah, it is true. Well, it's not even that. It's like I said, but they're, they're, through, they're, they're busy. there to work. Yeah, absolutely. They're doing their, they're, as performers, that's their job. Absolutely. So you have to look at it like that. Like, don't, don't interrupt someone. I don't want anyone to interrupt right. me when I'm trying to do my job. For me, like I didn't interrupt him at the CMTs. We were actually standing in line in the same bathroom, Who? and I was slash. Oh, yeah. And I was like, "Hey, I'm a huge fan. I just read your book." And he's like, "Oh, word, thanks." I was like, "He didn't say word, but he's yeah. like, oh, cool, thanks." Anyway, so that was a big moment bring, for me. Bringing this back full circle. Yeah, we got the shot. We got the fucking shot. I mean, I got the shot. I, it's I, not I took the best a photo. I took a video. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, you know, we got the shot. Had a great time at the show. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think I'll ever get that experience again, man. I Dude, have a feeling she's gonna blow up, bro. I mean, I messaged her and she, she, because I sent some videos and oh, I was like, you? and she liked my messages and I was like, you should come perform in Austin sometime because she would fucking kill it there, dude. It's like perfect vibe for Did that. Did you actually send that message? Yeah, I'll show you right now if you don't believe me. You sent her a message saying that you she should, should come, come to Austin, Austin, yeah, and perform. Yeah, and I, what did she say? I said, look, I'm not just some guy. <laughs> This is just Blade over here. <laughs> uh, look, I, like I said, man, it, it's definitely the highlight of this trip. I know you're going to be mad at and me. And definitely the, the highlight of of the weekend. It's like, hey, hey you killed it fan. last night. Thank you so much, Blade. Okay, yeah, you didn't say... Oh, you did say thank you. You should play in Austin, Texas sometime. That's cool. She liked my messages. Yeah, she did. But, but I, I, that's not a snake in the grass. I'm trying to give you momentum. You're a bit of a, well, yes. I okay. If you're truly trying to give me a little push, a little nudge, yeah. Uh, then yeah, you're you're being yeah, yeah. you're doing it. Don't because it's like I'm the kind of guy who's like, if you got some something on a pedestal. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm not putting yard. I like a pedestal. to look at the trophies. So you better I'm watch just, out because I'll smudge them. Look, all I'm gonna say, dude. Not yard, of course. I mean that res with respect. I think she's gorgeous. Love to have her on the pod. I love her music. Absolutely. And bottom line, she's just overall a great performer, and I think she's a great person, just based on the interactions that we had. So that's it. That's Absolutely. All I have to say. Absolutely. Am I in love with her? No, I don't actually know her. Right. I'm not putting her on a pedestal. I'm not in, in love with the idea of her. Okay. Let's that be very clear. Lie. Let's be very clear. I just think she's a great performer, man. And I love the music. And like I said, you don't get that sort of connection with most artists, no, performers, absolutely. celebrities, dude. They're in never like, going to respond to some... In such an intimate some, venue. They, well, they're not going to respond to some schmutz that comes out of the woodwork. Like, oh, I, I slid into Tom from Blink-182's DMs, and I'm like, hey, man, is there any way I could, like, you know, get into the show, or can I buy some tickets for me? Like, no. Did you do I'm that? Not, I would never hear back. Oh, okay. No. I'm not gonna do that. I wouldn't do that. Blink one eighty. I mean, he might get back to you because you're a dude. I don't know what that has anything to do with it. But Blink one eighty two is lame. Okay. Anyway, so don't yeah, man. waste your time on me. I'm you're already you need to move your hair a little bit. Oh, oh, there you go. I'm covering a zit. Oh, there you go. Yeah. 
But uh, you have any dates lined up over here or anything? No dates. Speaking of uh, love. I mean, I've got a couple girls that I know out here in New York. Um, yeah. You know. I, I know. I know Whatever. the story. But yeah. uh, no, I don't really. I, honestly, I don't have any time at this point. I mean, my thing is like, I've gone a few matches. It's just like. I don't fucking know where to where I'm gonna meet them and shit, or like well, what I'm gonna do. And it's like it's expensive here, dude. I got very like, expensive. I got two hundred something bucks in my wallet, and then probably negative sixty in my account. Oh my god, it's expensive here. <laughs> it is very expensive, man. But overall, but there's a romanticism to that too. I'm just young and trying to make it in the fucking city. It's right. I didn't have two nickels to rub together, and here I fuck I am filming some guys. For Netflix, what, not like uh, a game. Not okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay. You set yourself up for that one. Uh, all right, dude. So as we kind of, you know, wrap up the show and kind of, you know, uh, move forward here, I, I I would love to hear your just kind of honest thoughts, man, on the city and like your genuine thoughts. Aside yeah. from being expensive, yeah, totally. aside from the women, aside, like give me your genuine perspective here uh, on New York City. It's hard because I feel like there's just not enough time. You know, it's like... we None of us have enough time. Right. But it's like, you know, I feel like you got to stay somewhere for at least a month, like for a vacation, anything to get like kind of a vibe. And it, I don't know, it sucks because I have family here, don't have time to visit them, like in Queens and shit and like sh fucking wherever. But uh, I mean, I love it so far. Okay. Like I love the architecture. I love the old fucking architecture yep. and like just the fucking skyscrapers you know i don't sure. ever you don't actually ever see that like la is fucking spread out yeah you know it has that tiny little downtown like mm -hmm. portland is like i think the biggest st building's probably like 30 stories right and we're what we're on like the 26th floor right 26th now or floor, something dude. it's like which is like looking down it's like yeah i could jump from there <laughs> you know like i don't want to be worried about it <laughs> okay you know, like it's not going to hurt. So, would you consider moving here if you could afford it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, oh, even okay. if it like it was a struggle, because I mean, I I can't afford Austin. Okay, but I can't afford no, anywhere. No, no, but the question but... is, would you move here if you could afford it? Oh, absolutely. Um, would I live here forever? Probably not, just because I'm a small town guy. I love the nature. I love country. Yeah. the country. I like yeah. Oregon. I like Alaska. All those places. Mm. I like to snowboard. I mean, where's the nearest mountain? Like Albany, probably. Or probably Jersey. There's definitely mountains over here, but I've I call it in hills. Jersey. Right, exactly. That's uh, the mountains. thing, though. Is like, like the Appalachia. Is it Appalachia that even goes up here? No, not all the way up here. Right, but whatever the mountains, it's like Pennsylvania. Yeah, they're just nothing compared to like fucking the Rockies. Right. No, a hundred percent, man. I look and the space. There's I think not the, a lot of space, and I think the quality of living is better. Like I feel Outside like of here, dude. I feel like the air quality here has got to be fucking terrible. Well, yeah, the it's, water it's tastes like condensed. shit. Yeah, I mean, it's the like kind of eggy, sulfury. Yeah, I guess. But there is like that romanticism of it here. I love how like, you keep using that word tonight. It's romantic. I keep thinking Frank Sinatra every time I look around. Romanticism. Yeah. Okay. Well, speaking of, where what what borough would you live in? You get to pick one. Probably, what borough of New York City would you live in? Probably Brooklyn, because that's where I'd probably what, what be part working. Of Brooklyn? Downtown Brooklyn by the bridge. Williamsburg. Okay. Interesting. A little more family. Yeah, it's definitely you know? a little bit outside of downtown and, yeah. and it's closer to Queens. Because that way I'd be, I could say it, like people would think I'm more kind of local in a way, you know, instead but of being not. like. Right, but they want to know that. put on that allure that you are. Yeah, you know. I got you. I wouldn't want to be like, oh, yeah, New York's great. And they're like, oh, where do you live? I'm like, Manhattan. Honestly, dude, the you people know? I've met. In in Brooklyn, Newark. have been absolutely phenomenal. I have some friends that still live here that right. I met at the bar, at the that's local the bar, well, and I think that's really special. I think that's really cool to be able to meet people in these cities as yeah. this podcast grows and as we continue to travel and do these pods. Like so there are certain cities, man. Like we talked about Atlanta when we were there. Like you didn't, we didn't meet anyone of depth. No, like just people here, that we knew. But like here, though, yeah. There's, there's some depth here, eh? Yeah. Like, Atlanta, we kind of shit on it. But yeah. it's like, New York, I, I like it. Like, I wouldn't live here long term. It would be fun to do it, like, for two years or something, yeah. you know? Like, and then, uh, but everyone I've worked with in the industry, they all live in Brooklyn. 
Yeah. Well, I think it's pretty damn expensive to live here in the city. Oh, and yeah. it's also, dude, the vibe, like we talked about earlier in the episode, it's so different. It is very night and day between Brooklyn and Manhattan. Oh, absolutely. Like, the amount of space, and especially where we're at right now, God, it's yeah. just tourist trap city over here. Yeah, uh, I, I'm, I want to see if that's going to work in our favor for the ladies or not. Well, only time will tell, my guy. Only time. Time square will tell. <laughs> Billy on the street, would you fuck me? No, okay. Hi. Yeah, I don't know where you're going there. You don't know the Billy on the Street skit thing? No, I don't. It's from, uh, I think, John Oliver. Oh, He's yeah, He's like yeah, this yeah, gay yeah. guy who runs around yes, New York. Yes, I know who with Billy like, Eichner yeah, is. Yeah. Yes. Or is it Conan? No, it's Billy Eichner. I know, I but I mean, Conan, is, I think is he Conan, from... Did, Conan did some... Yeah, uh, I don't know he where He does he's Conan from. and John Oliver, I, I think, know, shows. Dude. I don't know. Why don't you go fucking find him on the street? Dude, I think I saw Andrew Schultz in Brooklyn. Uh, you may have. I think I did. You may have. I don't know, it's hard because, like, ugly East Coast people all look alike. Didn't you just say that East Coast people are absolutely beautiful? The women. Oh, God, I gotta get it. The women. Here. Yes. Uh, I, I, I can't disagree with you there, man. Yeah. They're absolutely beautiful out here. And the brunette thing. It's mostly brunette. I like, mean... I love brunettes. I, I talked about this the other day. You are saying earlier you're kind of transforming I, I, to I, the... I'm transitioning. Yeah. I'm using thems. Yeah. One of our video sponsors from a previous episode. Make sure Use you check them. it out. Yes. Promo code Blade and Squiggly, Squiggly Tyler. And. I still uh, need to figure out. out what that's called. I, I don't actually know either. But yeah, I mean, dude, they're just ugh, so many hot brunettes here. And I will say this, man. I don't think people here in the city are as rude as what I think people think New Yorkers are like. No, yeah. But I do think, I think it's very like one-sided or the other. Like, yeah, there you are either some get rude the good or the here. bad experience. Yes, there yeah. are some rude people here. Because I had here. a few rude experiences here already. What do you mean? What happened? I mean, it wasn't even rude. It was more like me just being a fucking retard, like get leaving LaGuardia and on the bus, and I was like, um, how do I get to the A train? And the guy was just like, oh, my God. He's like, I... But, yeah, then, I, but then he was like, nice later. He's like, you're going to want to get off here. And I was like, okay. But he didn't answer me for like the first 10 minutes on the bus. It's it's about their time. Right. Everyone here is moving and grooving, dude. Like, like these, That's why it's kind of hard to hit on ch people here, well, too. Well, like, that too, yeah. Like I mean, I, I've hit on chicks on the street in Austin. I've gotten street love on six, you know? And here it's like people got places to be. It's a lot more spread be. out. Yeah, people are yeah. like in their own little bubble a little bit. They want their space. Ooh. Let me ask you something. Okay. For our viewers, for any East Coast ladies Ooh. listening, some nice Elaine's, some Marissa Tomei's, my favorite. Tell us here, Kyla, Kyla, you look sharp today. You, nice you look fantastic. Kyla, nice let me ask, can I call you Kyla? Yeah, call I'm me gonna Kyla. Call, I'm going to call you call Kyla. Kyla. Kyla, if you had a dream date, the girl of your dreams, a, a, new, a New York, an inner city broad, okay. broad shoulders, broad tits, the whole nine yards. Okay. What would your dream date be? What would you do? What would you take out? Would you take her on the ferry to Jersey? Slap her on the ass and leave her in Rutgers? Or what, what, would, you, what would you do? Would you take her for a fucking slice? Take her out to, for some fucking fajans? Huh? What would, you, what would you do an ideal New York woman experience? I love how intense you're getting right now. Oh, fuck. I just... As I try to explain this... We get, I'm gonna we're going to cut that part where I drooled on myself. No, we're not. Uh, I'm going to say uh, it really depends on the woman, dude. And I know that's a that's a cop-out for me to say that. But I feel like New York women here are all very different. They all have different interests. For me, I'm not a city guy, man. I don't think I could ever see myself living here at all. I, li I like the mountains. I you like lived in more doors. cities than me. You lived in yeah, L.A. Lived and San Diego and LA's Austin. L.A. is a city, but at least there's, like, landscape. Like, like you were saying, there's no mountains here. There, right. there, there's not a lot of, like, outdoor stuff Upstate to Upstate New do. York's gorgeous, though. Catskills. But we're talking about here. Yeah, in, in the York. city. So, in terms of, like, a dream date, okay, let's just say, let's just hypothetically just say, like, you know, this beautiful saxophone player Wants right. to go out on a date, okay, here in the city. You take her to a, your roach-infested apartment where, where am I gonna fuck go? her on a box spring. Where am I going to go? Uh, definitely going to go to a nice Italian restaurant, probably in... Okay, in, so you would do an Italian restaurant. Yes, I would do a nice Italian restaurant. Because I do feel like Italian food here in New York is actually top-notch. Absolutely. It's top-notch food. Absolutely. I would love to take, like, I'm not going to lie, a helicopter at sunset, dude. 
cruise around the city, like Ooh. see the Statue of Liberty at sunset, watching the sun go down. Getting head in a helicopter tour. You think that's ever happened? I'm sure you probably could pay some money and probably like, could happen. Maybe in Vegas, because I've done the helicopter tour in Vegas before, but I didn't get head. I was uh, with my dad. That would have been kind of weird. Yeah, a little bit. But a little bit. You but do yeah, a helicopter I, tour? Well, Could that be at it. night or day? No, sunset. Golden hour. Yeah, I don't think sunset in New York's that pretty. I think it is. I think like at night, it's when you want to see it, you know, like Look, the hustle man, we and can't bustle. all be on a barge with the, the lights and, you know, the violin playing and all these things in Austin. I have a okay? question. Can you still go in the Statue of Liberty? I have like no in the idea. Torch? I've actually never been on the island there. Really? No. Why would I have been on the island? We should we should go do that. Well, we don't have a lot of time there, bud. It's probably expensive, too. Yeah, yeah I, it, it's definitely an expensive city, man, for sure. Right, totally. Uh, speaking of expensive, we need to find a fucking expensive meal to get tonight. And by that, that? I mean like a hot dog cart or something. Let's do it, dude. A subret. Because these dogs here are fucking barking dogs. Word. You sauerkraut on the dog guy? Nah. No? Nah. Mustard. That's it. That's it. That's it. What you, Maybe right. some ketchup. Yeah. I like some grilled onions. Ooh. Like If we're, if we're going to get bougie like Chicago dog here... Like, it's yeah, a Chicago dog. They do the pickle, they do the red pepper, and they Ooh. do onions. Yeah, Ooh. it's 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 pretty good. Okay. But we haven't gone to Chicago yet together. Yeah, I've never really been interested in going to Chicago, really. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I feel yeah. like people from Chicago are fucking retarded. Why do you keep saying the R word, dude? Because I'm Italian. You need to reel it in, Blade. Yeah, instead of reeling it in, let's go. Uh, let's go fishing for some puss and go dumpster dive for some clams tonight, huh? Okay. Clams are what we call vagines down I'd love, in the. I'd love to see you actually go hard one night because oh, you I'm talk spit some. You riz. talk the biggest game, but I have yet to see you go hard. I bet I'll ask out three girls tonight on the street. Hey, I will say this, and I'm gonna call this shake out. on that. You can't get mad if I go approach women. Okay. <laughs> sometimes you, cause sometimes he gets embarrassed of me. Yes, it is. I'm very ashamed of you. Well, I don't have a filter. Yeah, you don't. That's your problem. I'm a raw dog and road dog. This is why I don't sometimes. I There's can't no jimmies on my John, pal. I can't, I can't sit here and watch it happen when I know these girls see that I'm with you, and then I look like the ass clown, too. Because with of that your, slicked back because hair. Because of your fucking bullshit. So anyway... I will say this, though. Did I not? You always like to call me out about how I always push you to spit all the riz, and I never do it, you blah, blah, blah. any riz since Did we've been I here. Did I not pull the Justin Waller last night at the Korean barbecue spot? Did I not? Kind of. Tell the people. He Let's goes hear up. your side of the story all here. All right. We eat a shit ton of KBBQ. We're leaving out. Belly's full. He okay. goes up to this waitress, blonde. He Which goes up to her. Actually. She had a nice biscuit. He goes up to her. He says, excuse me, miss. I don't want anything from you. I just wanted to say, you look really nice tonight. No, I said you're absolutely beautiful. Oh, you said that? Yes. Yeah, that's weird. That's creepy. Okay. No. Well, you know what? I would have I... said just like, hey, I just want to say, I think you look really good today. I'm using the Waller line. Look way better than yesterday. I'm using the Waller line. And she loved it. It was yeah. a nice little compliment. Yeah. And I turned my back and At I walked the fuck away. At least you didn't use the Morgan wall in line. No, I would not go there. Which is the N-word. Anyway. <laughs> With that, folks, thanks for joining in for another great episode. Dude. Where should we go next, by the way? Ooh. Speaking of Morgan wall and folks, where do you want to see a Morgan of us... What city should we go to next is what I mean I to say. I love how you're trying to come up with a pun or like No, I'm trying to like think about the part we're going to cut out. Uh, where should we go next? What city? Where do you want us to visit? Send us some fan mail. We didn't have time to get into listener mail today. I think we only had one person write in, but keep writing in. We appreciate it. Let us know like a cool city. What's cool about your hometown? Why should we go there? Like, share, subscribe. Tell all your fucking friends. Huh? And thanks for listening, as always. Yeah, uh, I, I'm glad he closed the show for me. But, yeah, got to say thank you to everyone as out usual, there. As usual, I'm the only one who closes. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate everyone tuning in to the show today. Uh, it's it's, it's, a, it's a great show. New York City, man. I've, I've had an absolute blast. Can't wait for the rest of the week. Hopefully we'll bring you guys another yeah, I think we'll be back in Austin for You think they week. sell Q-tips here? I need to find some Q-tips for my ears. I don't know. Probably. But okay. with that being said, as Blade said, uh, check us out on all the major podcast platforms, on our socials, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Yeah.
Peace. And uh, with that, yeah, goodbye. Ta-ta.